We are now less than a week away from the Modern Warfare 3 campaign launch. It's getting launched early on November the 2nd. We are going to be streaming it on this channel here that day. And if you ever want to watch me play any other games, by the way, I'm currently doing a Let's Play of Alan Wake 2. Uh, it's over on my second channel. It'll be linked down in the description or after the video if you ever want to check anything else like that out. It's always over on my second channel. However, as far as the campaign goes, it has been very weird this week because the whole week I've kind of been waiting for a campaign trailer, information on the campaign rewards, which did kind of come out. They sent them out in an email to some people, but they didn't show all of the rewards. So you are going to get some in-game items for completing the campaign. But all in all, the trailers and information to come out about the campaign have been very, very low until last night. Last night, the Australian Call of Duty Twitter tweeted out this picture here asking us to guess what is going to be the first member of task force 141 to be shown within the modern warfare 3 campaign and immediately when i saw this picture i said that's roach roach is not in modern warfare 2 is not in modern warfare 2019 and that is roach which led me to the question is roach returning in modern warfare 3 and i wanted to make a video about it so in this video we're going to go over the kind of backstory of roach who he is why he could potentially be returning within Modern Warfare 3, and I'm also going to put the opposing side out there, why he might not return in Modern Warfare 3, and hopefully by the end of the video, you guys can give me your opinions down in the comments as to whether you think Roach will be returning in Modern Warfare 3 or not, but seriously, look at that picture. That's definitely Roach. Oh, there's also one more thing we're going to dive into with this picture as well. You probably missed it, but you may recognize a logo hidden in the picture, but don't worry. We'll get to that. So as far as Roach goes, to understand his kind of backstory, we have to go back to the original Modern Warfare 2. In this, Roach is introduced as an underling to Soap McTavish. He kind of plays the role that Soap had in Call of Duty 4 to Captain Price, essentially as his underling taken under Soap's wing and being taught all the ways that Captain Price taught Soap. Now, throughout Modern Warfare 2, you play alongside Task Force 141, including the characters of Soap McTavish and, of course, Ghost. You go through the missions, but rarely say pretty much anything you hear from general shepherd and take your orders from him and eventually it all culminates in the mission loose ends where you go into makarov safe house alongside ghost and by the very end general shepherd gives you a very unwarm welcome <laughs> Now, here's what I always found a little bit weird about this scene. You play as Gary Roach Sanderson throughout the Modern Warfare 2 campaign. However, whenever anyone talks about this scene, they never say the scene where Roach died. They say the scene where Ghost died in Modern Warfare 2. However, you don't play as Ghost. He's just kind of there. You are Roach. But needless to say, he is one of the most iconic characters simply because of this shocking scene. It was very rare that a main character that you played actually passed away within a game, because at that point, then who are you playing? Your character's dead. So now we have to look at the concept whether or not Roach will return within Modern Warfare 3. The first things first, if he does, I don't believe that he will be under the wing of Soap McTavish whatsoever, but rather, as we've talked about before, most likely Gaz. Gaz is a character who was introduced in Modern Warfare 2019 from the very beginning, immediately taken under the wing of Captain Price, and therefore, if someone was to then mentor someone or be promoted to Captain like Soap McTavish was, I would see it most likely being Gaz, and therefore, he being the one to teach the ropes to Roach. But here's the weird part about Roach. We never actually see him. And what I mean by that is you play in first person and he is never in any of the cut scenes. You never see his face or anything like that, except for two situations. One of which is called Operation Kingfish, which was a live action video that was created and it showed Roach having a helmet and goggles. The other situation is if you actually use mods on the original Modern Warfare 2, you can go into third person and actually see some of these cutscenes in which you see what he looks like. With the iconic helmet and goggles, this is what everyone pictures when you think of Roach. But in the game itself, you never actually see him. So this is where I got the idea from when originally seeing this operator with the helmet. You can't see whether or not he's wearing ski goggles and immediately I picture Roach. 
Now, I will tell you already, there are two reasons why I believe that Roach may not return within Modern Warfare 3. The first of which you may not already know, but Roach is kind of already in the game. And what I mean by that is that the Coalition Milsim skin, which, which is for the USEF 2 skin, already looks identical to Roach. And I think they did this on purpose to kind of put him into the game without actually putting him into the game. So this we have to go over to Twitter for, and this is from someone by the name of Big Mike. If you've ever looked at one of my thumbnails and said, wow, that looks really good. He is probably the person that created it. He is amazing at art. And he pointed out the fact that this original image that they posted, the one that we are talking about in this video, appears to be AI generated. Now, I didn't notice these things, but you can see in certain areas where he points it out, it just doesn't quite look right. On top of that, we have shadows that really just don't quite line up. These are the kind of things that he would notice that I just don't. And he also pointed out the walls looking a little bit wonky as well. So that brings us back to the main image here. And I'm curious at this point, what do you guys think? What do you think this image means? Do you think that this is Roach here and we're going to see him return? Or is this just an AI generated image they put out for promotional material? But it lends to the big question, the one that I haven't brought out yet. What is going on with that logo? If we have a deeper look at that logo, that is the ghost logo. And no, I don't mean Simon Riley. I mean ghost, like Call of Duty ghost. You know, that game that Infinity Ward released years ago. And then on top of all of that, you may have missed this or maybe just didn't know. This was brought back again within Modern Warfare 2 when they brought together ghost team, which was a combination of Task Force 141 and Los Vaqueros. All right, listen, we are taking back your HQ. You're getting our prisoner. We are killing Commander Graves. When? Now. This is a fight against our own. We are not one for one and lost for Kiros on this. We're a team. Ghost team. Good to see you again, Soma. If you're in, take a mask. If you're not, boom. So at the very least, I definitely think Ghost Team will be making a return within Modern Warfare 3. The question is, with them using that logo, the Call of Duty Ghost logo, are we going to see some sort of crossover with the Ghost universe? This is super interesting to me as, of course, you could tie in several different characters. But what makes it even more interesting is when you look at the timeline of Call of Duty Ghosts, that game actually takes place in the year 2027. And if we look when the next Infinity Ward game would be coming out, it is 2026, a year before that. So it is very possible that they are building up the Modern Warfare universe to also turn into the Call of Duty Ghosts universe moving forward. So I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. What do you think about Roach being added into the game? What do you think about the Ghost team and possible ghosts crossover moving forward. I'm very curious to hear what you guys have to say down in the comments. As always, if you enjoy these type of story videos, it's always appreciated if you do hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, want to stay up to date on everything Call of Duty, make sure you subscribe, have notifications on all of that jazz. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace out. We are, we are reaching for the stars, but we're